The gloves, the gloves. Okay, journey to the Aldi. Let's go. Behold the filthy staircase. Everybody's too lazy to clean. Ooh, it's the street, I tell you. So here we go. So there you go, you know the door 10 seconds before you've almost fallen into a canal. Weather's a bit shit, but living here as long as we have, we're used to that. There's the uh, local Taj Mahal, I think it is. I think it's a, I think it's an Indian restaurant, I'm not sure what it is. <laughs> no, it's the local mosque. There we go. Oh, trash on the street. So many. People think I'm crazy for looking through the trash here, but you won't believe some of the stuff I've found. But now as good as a uh, oh look shelving. Tut in it. Word of old tut. There. Man, one of them. Right, what we're going to do is, because I said we're going to test out the uh, the new phone, we're going to test out its, its zoom ability. So here we are. it on full zoom and that's where we're heading right there so when I get there I'll show you where I am okay I'm actually gonna get a, a gimbal for it you know so I can keep it sort of steady cam because uh, and I'm waiting for that to show up but when that's gonna show up anybody anybody's guess because you you've uh ordered it on Facebook so you might as well just throw your money in that canal over there and then there's uh, much chance as it's ever going to have of arriving there we go locals happy and friendly as always There we go, look, it's a street, there's plenty of them here. And here we have the uh, trash business. Basically, rather than everybody having a wheelie bin, everybody just sticks all their crap in these, you know what I mean? So, it means that it's a more communal thing. And here's the electric, here's the electric vehicles being loaded up. Because everybody's got one of them now. Oh, more trash on the street. Because you see, this is it as well. The trash usually goes out on a Sunday, so it's Monday today. So, you know, Sunday and Monday are the days to lurk about and see what's, uh, see what's on offer. Because uh, you can take the whole rag and bone man out of hole, but you can't take the rag and bone man out of the man. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, more bikes. Bikes. That's all there is here. 
bikes, dikes and fucking canals. Door pads. <laughs> so, as you can see, I haven't been accosted by anyone yet. It's usually pretty quiet here, you know, people leave you alone as a rule. Which is fair enough, that's why I live here. It's just that it's already the end of March and it still looks like it's fucking September. So that's why I'm leaving. Oh, I'd like one of them. But nah, I'm buying a Volvo. But one of them would be handy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my bikes, bikes. Get my bikes. Get my locals. And so, as you can see, we're in another street now. And uh, uh, now you're thinking, probably thinking, oh look at that skip over there, but there's loads of good stuff in that. Nope. Never found anything good in a skip here. Always on the street, near these trash bins usually. But, you know, you just gotta get lucky. You don't happen every day, but I found computers, Expensive phones, you name it. Because what happens is if somebody leaves here and gets uh, thrown out or something, or there's uh, some trouble, usually all their uh, hello, usually all their shit is just thrown out into the street unceremoniously, and uh, it's right at scramble for whoever gets it. There's no auctioning it off and all of that. It's just all out in the street. Hang up there. Hang up there. Check it out, got a massive pig. I knew they had one here, but I've never seen it before. Well, I think we're gonna have to take a moment out and uh, check it out, see whether we can get it off. There you go, Biggie, come on. Come on, Biggie. Hello there, hello there. And this is uh, some kind of like children's petting zoo and uh, this is the local pig. Oh, look at you, you're a beaut, aren't you? Check you out. Don't want to meet you on a dark night. Oh, look at you. You're not going to piss all over me, are you? <laughs> we don't want to make one of them kind of videos. I told you, see what I mean? I fucking instinctively know. So, alright piggy, see you later. I'm just was uh, making some pictures of the pig. So that was him speaking the local lingo to me, which I understand, but I just can't be bothered to speak with them usually. You know, it's like, uh, plus when they hear I'm English, they leave me alone. So. Photograph, that means you're a photographer. I'm like, no, I'm just walking around with my phone. Pigeons, let's do a little bit of like close up zoom on the pigeons. Check it out. So, I got a little warning message earlier on that my battery was low, so, because that's one of the things about this, this phone that I'm not too, uh, not too happy about, is that it's, uh, it's battery life is pretty crap, but, well, we'll have to see about that. So I'm getting a new charger for it, one of these where you just lay it on it and it, uh, so it can be on charge all the time when I'm, when I'm not using it. 
a mate of mine had one of these and it burst into flames apparently not one of this particular model but he had a samsung which uh, i just thought was extremely funny but then <laughs> i've never been too sympathetic of the plight of others so here we go and you see that place where i was zooming in on that little box that's it over there so yeah zoom's not that bad is it that was 10 times zoom apparently but it does it does 100 times zoom on the on the photo on the camera you know the still camera so i'm wondering whether i can do that on the uh but i don't know how to use it yet so this is its maiden voyage trams ah, they've saved every one of us and in holland it's look left look right look left again and then get almost run over by a bike trams ah. They've almost killed every one of us. They've killed every one of us. Cause when you get run over by a tram. <laughs> no, actually it's like a, your natural predator here is not trams. Your natural predator here is tall don, blonde Dutch women on grandma bikes. You know, people who look like her. Because she'll be going about 10 times faster than the last Tour de France winner on that feature pad there, which is the bicycle path. And if you're not careful about it, they will run you over without hesitation. Oh look, we're coming up to an election there as well, so it's like, uh... there you go, one for you Simon, or Sean rather. Ten years of uprising, multi-sided civil sectarian and proxy war, yeah, in it. And this is the poster for the Socialist Party. For, and that means for honest education from the Socialist Party and uh, buy one I think that means buy one get one free <laughs> I don't know who they are oh yeah we've got some more here's the Pirate Party which when uh, Dale and Works means sharing works which uh, I kind of agree with just depends on how much I'm sharing them with who um, or what I'm sharing so yeah we're in the grip of election fever here oh look, now we've got the now we've got the big parties the D66 God knows what D66 means you, you know I took absolutely no interest in politics whatsoever here I've lived here 17 years I have the right to vote and I've never voted here and uh, since I think uh, the second time when Thatcher got in, I've never voted in the UK either because I don't, I don't agree with voting. I'm a foot voter. If you don't know what a foot voter is, look it up on Wikipedia. So that, that is uh, what I'm into when it comes to politics. Although I, I, uh, I comment on politics, as you know, but that, I only do that to take the piss mostly because I couldn't give a fuck about it. So there we go, there you go, look there's one, see what I mean? And she was a slow one. She was a slow one. But you see, this is, this is the thing, that's the death zone there. You see, between there and there is the death zone. You cannot, you cannot walk on the bicycle path, it's like, it's just, you know, it's like... So there we go, here's the shops, as usual money laundering palaces for, uh, for for like big time drug dealers some of these shops you never see them open 
and you think, well, how's that shop managed to stay open 20 years? And then you find out that, yeah, all it's doing is, all its purpose is there is just to appear to be a shop so people can push money through the books. Not all of them. Well, he's in there, look, he's, he's trying his best. But a lot of them. Yeah, a lot of dirty business goes on here. And here we are. And let's try that zoom again. Roken is labour, which means smoking is life. Yeah, if you say so. And here we are at our destination. I'm not going to take you around the Aldi. You know what that looks like, and my battery's low. So, there you go, a bit of a look around the neighbourhood.